I saw your thanks. Welcome to the Cooking Corner. Joining me today is Mike Bausch of Andalini's, and he has a new pizza recipe for us today. We're going to make a Euro pizza. Mike, welcome back. Kind of a Mediterranean theme today. Yeah, and you know, I love Euros. I love all styles of food, but we always kind of mess around and say, can we make this a pizza? And, and this one apparently is popular, huh? This one's working out. You know, not everything does work out on pizza. <laughs> uh, Euro meat, really, I mean, meat just does well with cheese, right? But the blend of this type of meat with mozzarella does great. Mm -hmm. And then it's the counterbalance of what we're gonna do today, which is gonna be this meat, mozzarella cheese, bake it, and then have cold items on top. And some people at home may be unfamiliar with what even a gyro is. So what kind of meat are you putting on here? Gyro meat is a typically lamb and sometimes beef. Ours is a mix of both. Okay. And then it's shaved and it uh, is spiced. Very pop popular uh, all over, you know, Israel, the Middle East. It's, it's just a popular item, just like with hummus. But gyros are extremely flavorful. And if you've never had one, go have a proper gyro. And if you love gyros, try a gyro pizza. So I would yeah. make a pizza here. Okay, that's all you did was just put those three ingredients on. So simple. Extra virgin olive oil, some gyro meat and some mozzarella. Okay. And then through the magic of television, ba-bam! Oh, look at that, look at that. And we just baked this live on TV. We baked it so quick. 500 degrees probably. <laughs> and now uh, we have some romaine, some fresh romaine. Okay. We're gonna just dump that on top. And and when you get this at the restaurant, this is what it'll come out looking like. Yes, exactly. Okay. Then we're gonna add uh, some, some uh, diced tomatoes that we freshly diced. Okay. And again, you don't, we try so many different variations. We don't know how to, how it'll taste, but the cold tomato with the romaine and then uh, some fresh tzatziki sauce. Okay. It's just a really nice counterbalance. And if you've never had it done this way, I think you'll really enjoy it. And what is tzatziki sauce for those that don't know? Tzatziki sauce is again a uh, very. It's very unique. It's it's a kind of like a yogurt, but it's a dill yogurt with uh, sometimes onion, sometimes uh, pickle, but and almost like a relish inside of it. Uh, and it's just a very popular sauce to be paired with all things Mediterranean. Yeah, and like this, you're just plopping it all over. Do you mix it together or just leave it like that? Leave it like that. Then we would cut into it uh, okay. and have some fantastic Euro pizza. Beautiful. I, I love it. it. It looks so good. It smells good. It's fantastic. Now, tell me about, um, you guys have something exciting happening at uh at Andalini's, you guys have a new restaurant, right? Yeah, we we uh, partnered with one of our employees, Tara Hatton, who is one of the best pizza throwers and pizza makers in the world. She started with us in Broken Arrow six years ago, and she is starting her own restaurant called Zaza's Pizza and Wings. It's a 90s theme, slices, and, and just great chicken wings. And it's gonna open Monday, right at 101st and Memorial on the corner or the edge of Tulsa and Bixby. And it's gonna be available online to do delivery. We're really excited about it, really excited to go in business with one of our employees, and we're looking forward. 90s theme, what does that mean? Are they gonna have like Backstreet Boys and stuff? We, a little more, more, more Early 91, 90s. 91 yeah. to 93. Very okay. particular, like MTV Beach House 91 type of stuff. Not late 90s, I got gotcha. you. No Limp Biscuit, it's just purely that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, come get this pizza. It looks great. I'm excited to try it. Uh, you can check out many more recipes just like this one. Just go to our website at newson6.com slash recipes. We'll be right back after this break with a final look at your Friday forecast. Stay with us.